Third-party content has been copied and communicated pursuant to Part 5A or 5B of the Copyright Act, unless indicated otherwise. Um, with very much special thanks to, uh, to Redstack, who are Autodesk uh, suppliers and specialists, uh, and certainly uh, Peter Hodgson, who's here tonight to represent them, um, we'll say a little bit about uh, what Redstack do. And I'll flick to a website if you want, if that's more Still visual right, for you. Right uh, right. And you'll see the connection between Redstack and what I'm going to present, which is, uh, which is Reality Capture or uh, Scan to BIM. Okay, thanks, thanks for the introduction there, uh, Matt. Uh, so my name is Peter Hodgkinson. I work as a business development manager for Victoria for uh, Redstack. And uh, Redstack is actually a new name for a company that's uh, been around for a long, long time. Uh, Redstack, or what was originally called Pro Group, was actually started in Adelaide back, I would say, about 17, 18 years ago. And uh, within a few years, uh, the two owners sold off their share to uh, Imaginet Technologies, which are a worldwide reseller. So they're one of the largest, or well, they are the largest of the Autodesk partners that sells all the different types of design software for many different industries. And uh, you know, not just the architectural engineering construction space, they actually look after manufacturing, industrial. You know, they even provide the animation software, uh, some of you would know, to a lot of uh, movie companies uh, you know, used for making movies. But Redstack, we actually changed our name and bought our share back from the United States near the end of last year. And uh, we are an Australian-owned company, 100%, and we actually have offices in Malaysia, Philippines, and uh, also Singapore and soon to be uh, opening in Japan. But as mentioned, Redstack is an Autodesk partner that provides all different types of design software. But we also provide a lot of other training and uh, technical support. But I suppose the main thing that you could actually call us is a facilitator. So we're a BIM facilitator. And I, I uh, myself actually come from an architectural family in Brisbane. Uh, I come from a family of 10 kids. and. Uh, my father actually started a business back 50 years ago building models for architectural firms and uh, he's passed on but uh, three of my brothers actually run the company now but you know, when I was a young kid I used to actually you know, uh, get involved in the business and talk to dad a lot about uh, the company. He always used to talk about the big issue which was the communication between the architects, engineers and the construction companies back many, many years ago. And I think what, what Ben's trying to promote or what we're trying to promote as a facilitator is we're trying to help the process for a lot of companies that are, say, going from things like AutoCAD to Revit and they're trying to actually start improving the process because BIM is actually becoming a very important part. Now, you might not be aware, but in Singapore, 100% of their government projects are BIM. So you all have to be basically the engineers, architects and construction companies have to be on the same page. They just recently also implemented that same policy over in the uh, in the uh, UK, and it's um, and it comes into effect in the year 2015, uh, actually next year or, or the year after. So things are really starting to change. It's be going to become important for people, you know. Also, suppliers of um, you know are really going to need to be on the same page as the architectural, engineering, construction arena. So this is where we come into it. We're the facilitators. We do training and support. We do data management, data integration, and we've got a lot of products that actually, software products that actually help enhance the use of a lot of the Autodesk products. So if you're looking for any of the Autodesk or any sort of software products, you can come to us, but it's all the support and training and technical knowledge that we have that sort of uh, helps the process as well. But uh, as I said, you know, Redstack, we've just come up with a, a name that sort of would uh, stand out there. I think that's the most important thing. But, um, and, and what uh, Matt's about to go on to, scanning technology, that's changing quite a bit as well. Now, I know with the scan to BIM or the scanning technology, it's the biggest thing that they've actually been using it for is in Christchurch after the earthquake. Because what it has been used for, the scanning technology, is to actually go into a lot of the older buildings and sort of work out the integrity, whether it's actually better to repair the buildings or whether it's actually to be better to pull them down and put them back up again. But what's, what's happening is there's also the scanning technology itself or the scanning equipment is actually becoming so, you know, is improving quite a bit and the technology is changing there. I know that over in San Francisco, many, many years ago, they actually had the earthquakes where a lot of those double-decker freeways were actually had collapsed on top of each other 
So what they're doing is actually planning to do tunneling and everything, uh, you know, underneath the uh, the harbour and uh, putting new freeways and everything underground. But the technology is changing so much in the scanning that they're actually able to penetrate solid ground to find out where a lot of piping and channels and everything are underneath. So, I mean, it's, the scanning technology is actually quite impressive. So I'll leave you to it anyway, Matt, and I'll let you get into that subject and I won't bore you too much with the details from us. But if you want to come and talk to me about any products or services that we've got, please come up and uh, have a chat to me at the drinks. Thanks very much, Matt.